Hello everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to do something special. I'm going to be showing you how to make these little things. And what do they do? You have to find out. It's Doodle Caboodle. Yes, I've tried. Hello everyone, welcome to Doodle Caboodle. First, all you need is a pencil and a compass and you're going to move down but and you're going to draw a circle first of all well what else do you need a compass for draw a circle like that and with that you need to get the compass and merge and align the compass and a pencil with the circle you just draw. Then put the compass in the middle of a circle and draw another circle. Like that. So you, so you should have two circles on a piece of paper. Then you need to get your finger and then draw around your finger Like that. Mine's a bit wobbly, so I'll round off a bit. Like that. Well, after that, I prefer to to just draw it on. Like that. It's easier than draw around your finger, and it works the same way. Just draw around your finger to get you started off. that last one and if you draw a in a circle just rub it out <laughs> just use your eraser on it like that then once you've done that you need to gather colour pencil and colour the petals in. Because I haven't got a colour pencil, I'm going to use a normal pencil. And don't worry if you draw that line, go over the petal, because you'd be cutting that bit out anyway. Just try to stay away from the middle of the flower. Because that is what you're going to use to draw your to write your message in, not draw your message, one more back. Write your message in. Like I said, don't worry if you scribble outside the petals because you're going to be cutting those out anyway. Cutting around them. There you go. Once you have your coloured and flower. Where's the scissors gone? Yeah. Get scissors. I prefer to have small scissors because they're easier to cut around the petal. And once you've got your flower, you need to bend the petals over. Like that. Just bend them over into the centre. Like that. There you go. Once you have something like that, I'm going to show you what you have to do next. Right. Next, you need a dish of water. When you've got a dish of water, these are when they come in handy. Now, inside each one, I've written a secret message. And you can too. I didn't write it because I didn't want you to know what I said. I'm going to surprise you. So here it goes. Let's try it out. Is there? Is it opening? It might be opening. 
Oh, wow. Taking its time, but it's up, man. Once you throw, when you throw it in, and it's opened up, dry it, and then once it once it's dry, chuck it back in the water, and it should open faster. This one was supposed to open faster because I dried it before throwing it in. Oh wow! Look at that. What it, what does it say? Oh, Mildred. There you go, that's a first message. Now let's try one of these things here. Let's chuck them on, shall we? There we go. And each, inside each one, they have a different message. And you're going to find out what they read now. See? Wow, how cool is that? Just opening up, getting it. These were supposed to open faster because I dried them out before throwing them in. I did it once. Get away from Mildred. Get away from Mildred. What are you doing? I suppose have your own space. <clears throat> Get over there. Well, some seem to be opening faster than others. Let's get let's get rid of Mildred for a second. She's in the way of everyone. Stop getting in the way, Mildred. There we go. I think that's what, that what the problem was. They have things against Mildred. That's why they're not. That's why they weren't opening faster. M Mildred's always in the way. Oh wow. That that one seems to be opening up well. Let's see what that one says. Let's open. What what does it say? Wait for it to open a minute. Uh, pretty cool though. How they open it? They're, they're just taking their time at the moment. Because I dried them out, I thought they would have gone a bit faster than this. I'm to nearly done. The one that's spinning round now. Wait for the last two petals to fall down. There you go, there's a message. What does it say? Let me show it to you. Paul Robinson is a pirate. Well, there you go. You learn something new every day. The badger nipple flower. Badger nipples. Each one has a different, unique message. Like that one says badger nipples. That one says Paul Robinson is a pirate. What does that one say? Don't trust cats. Well, that's good information. See, it's unique. It's special. It's things that people want to know, you know? They're telling, they're telling us what we want to know. Like Paul Robinson is a pirate. Badger nipples. Don't trust cats. That one... Nearly there. Get away, some trust cats. That one's nearly dead. Well, 
what's the what's the sin? What's the sin? So wait for the other sweets open up first. I love my brick. Well there you go. There's the Father Jack flower as well. And the last one to open up has to be Skazne Sopnen. Waiting for the last petal to open first. There you go. Can I see it? Do you know the Muffin Man? Paul Robinson is a pirate. I love my brick. Badger nipples. I don't trust cats. Wow. How special is that? Jump back in, Mildred. There you go. How cool is that? How special was that? That is something. Wow, I couldn't believe how well they opened up in, in water. Like magic. Yeah. That that was really cool. I enjoy I enjoyed doing that. I enjoyed doing that. Badger nipples. If you try it yourself at home, let me know how we got how you got on. How it went, how we, see if it worked or not, send me a comment, let me know, uh, subscribe as well, to see more cool things like that, wow, I can't get over that, anyway, I shall see you soon, take care, goodbye everyone.